In 2016, seven-year-old Anna Delaney made the most of her hours spent at the hospital. For Anna, it was two years where we, she was totally immune suppressed. <laughs> She had a rare blood disorder, chemo, and got a bone marrow transplant. Having a child who is critically ill is hard on the whole family. Years of health issues meant Anna couldn't get vaccines, so she's not protected from the measles. Even almost just doing this interview kind of feels like, um, sounds like a wake-up call, but it's like you read it, but just to know that this is something that's coming into our backyards. The health department says a one-year-old Pima County child got the measles after traveling to Asia. This isn't something that's happening in a third world country. This is something that is happening now in, in the U.S., happening here in Arizona. And for me personally, it's happening here in the East Valley. It's getting closer and closer to home. She says her family is taking extra precautions to make sure Anna doesn't catch the viral infection. It is hard for me to understand a parent's reasoning for not vaccinating their child, especially given the path that I've been down with my children with uh, having a serious illness and having children who are at higher risk should they get something like that. Doctors have cleared Anna to get the measles vaccine in April, so her family tells me they're counting down the days. Live in the newsroom, Brittany Thomason, Arizona's family.